Okay, so unlike those problems we did in uh, the other video, in the, the problems we're working here in this video are adding and subtracting fraction with unlike denominators. And so now let's look at the first example here. And what I have is 1 over 8 plus 1 over 6. So now the two fractions that I have here, they have completely different denominators. So what you need to do is you need to find the LCD. And once again, if you have not uh, learned the skill how to find the LCD of the two fractions, make sure you check out my other videos on how to find the LCD of the fractions, of the two fractions. But here, my first denominator, once again, has prime factors 2 times 2 times 2. It's always a good idea to list all prime factors of each denominator. And, and then my second denominator, 6, has prime factors 2 times 3. So the LCD here, and once again, if you are not sure how to find the LCD, make sure you, re you reveal my other videos. But here I'm going to cut it short here. So my LCD is going to be uh, 24, which contains the prime factors 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And so now, here at this point, once you found the LCD, you're going to start looking back at your first denominator, the first denominator. And in the first denominator, as prime factors, it has 2 times 2 times 2. And so, and if you compare that to the LCD, 3 in the LCD is not a factor of 8. 3 in the LCD is not a factor of 8. So now I'm going to multiply that 3 to the numerator of 8. So the numerator of 8 is 1 and multiplying that to 3. And so once again, if you, if you need to know why I multiply that 3, the whole reason being 3 in the LCD, 3 from the LCD, is not a factor, is not a prime factor of 8. And so that's why I multiply the 3 to the to 1, which is the, the numerator that came to that fraction, that came with that fraction. And now, looking over to 6, 6 has prime factors 2 times 3. And if I compare these two prime factors to the LCD, I'm c I can see that the first, I mean, any of these two 2's right here, these two 2's right here, they are not the prime factors of 6. I mean, even though 2 is a prime factor, but then here in the LCD, we have two more extra 2's here. So, these two extra 2's are not the LC are not the prime factors of 6. So, I need to multiply the two 2's there, 2 times 2. I need to m multiply both of those to 1, and which is 1 is the numerator of the first denominator. And now, I'm going to need to add those two together, and dividing all that by the LCD 20. Four, and so your fractions after completed is gonna be one times three is three plus four and all over twenty four, and the final answer to that adding problem is gonna be seven over twenty four, and that's how you add the two fractions. And so once again, the important the important point in this problem here is that you need to check in each. You need to check for the prime factors of each denominator and compare those to the the prime factors in the LCD and whichever is whichever the the prime factor that's not the prime factor of the of one of the denominator. Then you need to multiply those to the numerator. So and everything is once again going to become clear as we move on to the next example here. Example number two. So how about we have three over eight, and I'm subtracting five over twelve. And so now, once again, my two fractions here have completely unlike denominators. And so I, and it's always a good idea to find to list make the list of all prime factors from each denominator. So eight has two times two times two. Twelve has two times two times 3. And so I need to find, my next step is to find the LCD for my two fractions. And the LCD here in this case would be 24. 
and and the the prime factors for the LCD would be two times two times two times three. And so now, once again, once you found the LCD, and if you not once again, if you did not have your skill of how to find the LCD, make sure you check out my other videos again. And you need to get that LCD skill going. Look back into the first denominator. The f the prime factors are two, two, and two. And if you compare that to the LCD. I found that f the, f the prime factor of 3 is not one of the prime factor of 8. So I need to multiply that 3 to the, to the numerator that came with 8. So now the numerator that came with 8 is a 3, and I multi need to multiply that 3 with the, the extra 3 here in the LCD. So 3 times 3. And now is that is 3 from the LCD the only factor that's not part of 8? And yes, that is. So now I'm going to turn over my focus over to the next. Uh, denominator and the next denominator 12 has the prime factor 2 times 2 times 3 and if I'm comparing that if I'm comparing that to the LCD which has prime factors 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 what I notice here is they have the two twos here are common and the 3 is common but not that extra 2 so this extra 2 in other words is not part of the of the prime factors of 12, so I need to multiply that extra 2 to the numerator that came with 12. And so I need to multiply 2 to 5. And so I, here I have 5 times 2. And, and now in between the two problems here, I need to s do a subtraction. And I'm putting it all over 24, which is my, the, my LCD. And so in the next step of my problem, 3 times 3 equals 9, 5 times 2 equals 10, so I have 9 minus 10 all over 24, and the final answer to the problem would be negative 1 over 24. In the next example, and once again, we need to um, keep looking at a few more examples here to have all your skills nailed down before we move on to the next topic. So how about we have 7 over 40 minus 1 fifth. So now once again it's always a good idea to write all prime factors of each denominator. So 40 contains 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And 5 the second de denominator is 5, and 5 itself is already a prime number. So in terms of prime factors, it has 5 times 1. And so the LCD, once again, allow me to cut short here, but the LCD for the two uh, fractions here would be 40, and w which in terms of prime factors would, be, would have 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, excuse me. And so now here is 40 as my LCD and those are the prime factors of the LCD. And so now the next step after finding the LCD is to look back at the first denominator which is a 40 and here's once again here's the list of all prime factors of 40. If you look if you compare the prime factors of 40 and compare to all the prime factors in the LCD is there any is there any factors is there any prime factor in the LCD that's not in in the first den denominator and the answer is no. So that means I'm just leaving the first numerator the same. The first numerator is the numerator that came with the first denominator. And now looking over to the second denominator, 5 and here on the list 5 has the numerator, I mean has the prime factors 5 and so if you compare that those prime factors of the second de denominator to the LCD to the list to the prime factors of the LCD, what I can see is there's only your five, and these the rest of all the twos here they're all missing. There are not these twos here. They are not prime factors of five. So I need to multiply. I need to multiply all these three twos to five, and so I have five times. I'm sorry. I need to multiply all these three twos to the numerator of to the numerator of five. So I have one times two times 2 times 2 and here I have minus and here all over 40 which is the 
the, the LCD. And once again, in my next step, 7 minus 1 times 2 times 2 times 2 minus 8 over 40. And so the final answer to the problem would be 7 minus 8 equals negative 1 over 40. And that's how you finish subtracting those two fractions right there. In the last example, in the last example, example number four, let's try one more adding and subtracting problem. One over five, a one fifth plus a one third. And so now, once again, if you look into each denominator here, the prime factors of five is five and one. The prime factors of three, which is my second denominator is 3 times 1. And so the LCD in this case equals 15, which is in terms of the prime factors it has 3 times 5. And so now if I look into my first denominator, if I look at my first denominator, once again, the only prime factor in 5 is 5. And then comparing that to the LCD, I see that 3 is another prime factor that's not part of 5 so I need to multiply that 3 right here to the numerator that came with 5 which is 1 so here I have 1 times 3 and now looking over to the my second denominator as prime factors 3 equals 3 times 1 and then comparing the prime factors of 3 to the prime factors of the LCD I see that 5 is the other prime factor that's not part of 3 so I need to multiply 5 to the numerator that came with 3. So here I have 1 times 5 again. And here I'm adding those two quantity together and dividing both of them by, dividing all of them by the LCD 15. And so now in the next step of my problem, that would be equals to, now 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 5 is 5, so we have 3 plus 5 divided by 15. And so my, my final answer to the problem would be, 8 over 15 and this is how we how we're adding or subtracting fractions with unlike denominator